Hello, welcome to the Astrology and Spirituality Show for Tuesday the 8th of December. Elisa, what cards have you chosen today? Today we're using the Healing with the Angels Oracle cards. Um, I'd like you to pick one today. Okay. So I'll give them a shuffle and then you give them a choosing. Thank you. Well, Should maybe I shouldn't look and I yeah, should be look. a bit more... Right, there we go. Aww! <laughs> Soulmate. <laughs> so this is a really lovely card. You've got these two little cherub type people on this card. I think what this card is saying to us is that if we are already in a soulmate relationship, we could see that deepening in some way, some further commitment within that. And if we are looking for that soulmate relationship, I feel it is about having that faith that it exists. I never used to think it existed. I'll be perfectly honest about that um, until I experienced it and um, with you. Oh, well, thank you. And so, you know, it's it's hard sometimes when we hear these terms like soulmate or twin flame to know if it's, you know, a real thing. But then when we do feel it, it's like, oh, wow, it does mean something. And so my prayer is for everyone today to find that kind of relationship. Connection. That yeah. connection. And also soulmates, in, in my view, it doesn't just have to be a romantic relationship. I feel that this is people who are in our soul group. Have you ever met someone and you think, oh my goodness, I feel like I know this person. I feel like I've met them before and you can't explain why. And I feel that's because they're part of our soul group. We're supposed to meet them for a reason. Um, I feel like my mum for me is a soulmate of mine because even though we're so different, we have a real chemistry, don't we? So this is about all kinds of relationships that have a lot of meaning. I think that's brilliant that you've done that because sometimes people do write to me with the astrology and say, I've met this person, do you think they're my twin flame or my soulmate? And you can get elements that you can immediately see. That There's one person who's written to me recently where both her chart, the sun, and Venus is exactly trying in with the other person's sun and Venus, both in earth signs, which is absolutely phenomenal. So the attraction point between them is very, very strong. But you said in a video some weeks ago that uh, relationships cannot just be based on love. Mm -hmm. There needs to be a bigger motivation beyond that. And that's an interesting concept as well. So what Elise is saying there is uh, to leave things broader, Different people can provide different things for us in our lives. Like, I've got three uh, very, very good friends, um, and they're all very different. Two of them are actually extremely devout Christians, which might surprise you. I mean, really devout. And yet they don't judge me for what I do. And uh, the other person, Jacqueline, works in the business and has them for 25 years. And we're incredibly close. So... It, as Elisa says, it doesn't just have to be in a romantic dimension. And I think that's good because I think people can almost starve themselves chasing this mythical entity yeah. when in actual fact there may be different parts of a relationship that we can relate to. Definitely. I really love that. Yeah. So in the astrology today, the sun is inching towards an absolutely phenomenal trine with Mars. Let's think about what they represent. The sun is the soul. It's the drive. It's the burning point, which ensures that we all have a life force. And Mars is about our ego. It's about manifesting our individuality. It's about uh, being... Uh, uh, very driven it's about showing initiative so when the two are together it creates a real flame because they're both in fire signs at the moment the sun sagittarius and aries in its home zone of aries or one of its two home zones and that energy that's developing over the next through through days is going to create a lot of thrust a lot of drive and that's going to be very very positive but ironically, the sun is also in a square with Neptune, which is like someone coming along with the bonfire there, looking around, seeing if anyone's looking with a pail of water and going, <laughs> you know, I'm going to put this out. <laughs> I'm not having a bonfire on my patch. And it's kind of like, so we have a contraindication. Astrologers deal with this stuff all the time. And the skill here that's required is waiting. So we could have something of a more psychological nature that's outstanding can take on a heightened life force. 
But if you're feeling quite joined up about your emotions at the moment, the Neptune energy will be less dominant. And I think this can, over the next few days, be a time of getting things off the ground, moving forwards more speedily, really uh, racing towards a target with great gusto, determination and enthusiasm too. Wow, I love that power and that fire. Brilliant. Whoa, um... So just watch out for that person going around with that pail of water. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know the kind of person, they, they all pooper. say a party pooper. Oh, you can't do that. It's <laughs> not possible. <laughs> yeah. It's never been done you. that way before, you know. <laughs> I love your characters. <laughs> Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, moving on, of course. No, I just was thinking we could do a puppet show with all your characters. <laughs> well, well, I am the puppet. I got oh, put your hand up my back. Go on. <laughs> okay, that is just scary. Got... <laughs> oh, I'm going to talk. I'm going to like. Go on. Okay, so um, thank you so much for joining us today. If you would like to read your daily horoscope, you can do so in the description box beneath this video. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> I wonder, it's goodbye from him, and it's goodbye from me. <laughs> goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>